What's going on YouTube? Tis I, Aiden, back at it once again with another budget meta video. Now today we are going to be talking about this little guy, Beaver Warrior. Now, everyone always says that Beaver Warrior is OP, Axe Raider is OP, blah blah blah, but I've never seen a Beaver Warrior deck like this in Duel Links. Now, I know the, the Beaver Warrior OTK fun deck thing in the, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Online and shit like that and Dueling Network and stuff and everyone knows about the Beaver Warrior there. Beaver Warrior is OP. But in Duel Links, don't really seem like that until I had a great idea to use Beast Rising with it. And I was like, well, hey, let me look up and see what other Earth 4-star Beast Warrior types that can be used with Ties of Brethren. And I saw the Mighty Battle Ox was on there. Panther Warrior was on there. And Enraged Battle Ox was on there. And I was like, well, shit, let me make me a cheese deck. So I threw him in there for, you know, extra filler and three wall of D's for extra, extra tilt. So basically, uh, it works like you restart until you get a Ties of Brethren, one of these monsters, and a Beast Rising. That's it. And then um, you basically power up the Beaver Warrior with the Beast Rising. And if you also have Enraged Battle Ox on the field, he does piercing. So um, let's get on with the tilt. I won 23 out of 33 duels, I believe, but most of them was not with Beaver Warrior or even Beaver Warrior being on the field. Because uh, I remember one duel, they e they tried to econ take my Beaver Warrior and it was like at like 4,400. So I popped the Beast Rising and went uh, my Beaver Warrior to, you know, uh, Enraged Battle Ops, I think. And I won the duel like that. And I was like, no, nah, I can't save that one because Beaver Warrior did not win, you know? It may be a Beaver Warrior deck, but you won't win with Beaver Warrior that much. And all these replays is from Beaver Warrior winning besides the last one. I restarted that hand because I had no ties and no Beast Rising. So that was a easy restart. And uh, the last duel, like I said, is the Axe Raider versus Beaver Warrior. And it's highly, highly an anticipated duel, I would say. Like most people, I... I say, uh, oh, a couple of ace. That, that's a good, you know, tech card for a mill deck, mainly because they could get a plus two, and if not, you know, they milled me out two more, which they're going to set three cards face down, and I'm like, well, um, damn, I have no shit, so I'm just going to attack, and then I'm going to attack with Panther Warrior next. That way I can finish you with the Beaver Warrior. Turn two OTK Taya, go get you some bitch. I'm thinking that this was the alien player. Um, cause I did uh, talk a lot of shit in room one. I was like, oh, come on, take on my Beaver Warrior deck and stuff. And everyone was like, oh, I got X Raider. X Raider's better, blah, blah. I'm like, well, come on, prove it. And no one proved it besides one person. And I'll shout them out whenever it comes up. This is Supreme Ruler, yeah, this was a KOG match. He thought he could take on the Beaver Warrior Cheese, and I think he beat me two out of three. If I'm not mistaken, he, he bested me two out of three, but still, the Beaver Warrior Cheese, man. I get that Ties of Brethren, Beast Rising, and Beaver Warrior. Yes, this is the Aliens. And my only concern right now is having my Beaver Warrior getting brainwashed. By the aliens. So um, I'm going to go ahead and play that beaver warrior. Equip them with that ties of brethren. Lose 2,000 life points. And summon my battle ox for nostalgia. And panther warrior for extra nostalgia. Play that beast warrior face down. In my turn. He is going to draw. And then play. I'm going to pop my beast rising. That way uh, just in case if he pulls pull some cheese like this. I can automatically slap him with the beaver warrior. Which if he was smart, he would have put it on the Beaver Warrior. But I actually thanked him a little later on. I was like, thank you, man. You knew you knew that you wasn't going to uh, have it anyway, so why not? Get that Beaver Warrior pumped. He's going to use that Wall of D on me. Which uh, my Beaver Warrior don't give two shits about. Because he's got 3,300 attack. He may gain two counters, but I can always just, you know, pop that Beast Rising and put him on Battle Ops or whatever. So he's going to summon a monster, uh, a 1600 alien telepath, try to pop my beast rising. 
I'm gonna go ahead and activate it, get rid of my battle lock, give my beaver warrior 1700 more, and he scoops. Damn, fucking be a tier two deck. I think this Odeon was this, uh, it was a burn stall cheese with lava golem, and he beat me the first time, and I demanded him a best out of three because he's like, oh, your beaver warrior deck sucks, blah, blah, blah. Because I had him all the way up to like, uh, I think seven, seven K attack or some shit like that, and he ended up lava golem me, and I was like, well, fuck. And, uh, I survived like maybe three more turns until the lava golem burned me. Yeah, this is that zero zero dude. Which he he's a damn good duelist. He really is. I'll have to give him props for that. And he really did like my beast warrior warrior or my beaver warrior deck. Especially after seeing this right here. I remember this one good. Cause I get the two beast risings, uh level four fucking earth beast warrior and the ties. So I'm gonna pop them ties. And then summon my Panther Warrior and Beaver Warrior. And then I'm going to play both my Beast Risings. That way I don't get Lava Golem. I remember that very, very clearly. I was afraid of that Lava Golem. So I'm going to go ahead and pop both my Beast Risings onto my Beaver Warrior. Give him, him the attack power of 4,900. And then he's going to play one card face down. And then set two. So I'm going to play my Rage Battle Ops. Which gives all Beast, Beast Warrior, and Warrior types piercing. He's going to get 9,800 through the Massive Morph. And bam. He did not know I did piercing. And he asked me why didn't I pop the Beast Rising and give him more and actually farmed them. And I was like, well, just in case of the Draining Shield and, you know, all kinds of cheese and stuff like that. And I really did not want that. I want to win with either Beaver Warrior or my Battle Ox. This was a good one too, uh, the Jaden Yugi. I think this was a Masked Hero deck because I beat two Masked Heroes legitimately with Beaver Warrior. And I lost to one of them on the ladder. And I think this was the the good mass hero replay because like I said earlier, I beat a lot of people with these decks or, or with this deck and I just couldn't save it because the Beaver Warrior did not win. Uh, Pyro Nova, this is a guy from room one too. So I don't think this was a mass hero. Yeah, yeah, it was a mass hero deck. Because uh, they used Mass Change like three times because I kept on using Beast Rising and shit. And it was like, well, fuck your Beaver Warrior. 30 cards. Oh, no, this was the 30-card Light Swarm deck, which was pretty damn good. Um, I get the ties and the Beast Rising, so I'm like, yes, I'm going to play that Beaver Warrior. Pop them ties. And this time, instead of using the Nostalgic... Uh, Panther Warrior, I start bringing out the Enraged Battle Ox because of that fucking massive morph. And I was like, yes, piercing, I'm down for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that Beast Rising. And then he's gonna set two cards face down and the Light Swarm Sorceress to try to pop my Beast Rising. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it to give my Beaver Warrior 3200 attack. They're gonna mill like three cards or some shit, whatever Light Swarms do. Um, I'm gonna play the Beaver Warrior face down just in case. I'm gonna do that 1500 piercing and then go for the attack. And then they use powerful rebirth to summon Lila back. That is, yeah, Lila back. And bam, I do the 1300. They got 1200 left. I'm like, well, fuck you, dude. Because then they play him in attack mode, attack my battle ox. I'm like, well, fuck. Damn, now I don't have game with Beaver Warrior. But then I, I thought. Hey, I got Beaver Warrior face down like that. So I'm going to play my Panther Warrior in attack mode. And then attack with my Beaver. They're going to use Skill Successor, which um, they're only going to gain like 400. Which I don't know why they didn't get the whole 7. I think it negates the steel the skills. And then I beat them down with the Beaver Warrior. Oh. What you all been waiting for. The reason why you clicked on this video and thought it was a clickbait title or a clickbait video and I have to give out huge props to this person which I don't even remember their name but I was basically in room one and asked for a competitive Axe Raider deck and he's like I got one I'm like a real Axe Raider deck he's like yeah you want to try it against my beaver warrior cheese and he's like fuck yeah so a huge shout out to Dank Magician KOG of the day. 
he basically made this video because I was just going to release Beaver Warrior wrecking everything, but yeah, Beaver Warrior versus Axe Raider is a huge fucking deal because everyone says that Beaver Warrior is OP, Axe Raider is OP. So yeah, I'm going to restart that hand because I need the Tides of the Brethren or the uh, Beast Rising with Beaver Warrior. Which I get the Beast Rising and Enraged Battle Ops. Possibly the worst hand in this whole video. And he's going to start off with fucking Axe Raider and two face down cards. So I'm going to match him and play Battle Ops and then two face down cards. And then it's his turn. Then he's going to summon another Axe Raider and I'm like, I don't want to do it. But yeah, I will. Bam, Wall of D. Get wrecked, at Trader. His other Axe Trader is only at 100 attack. I draw the Beaver Warrior. I'm going to pop that Beast Rising. Giving him a 2900 attack. And oh shit, he's got Super Rush Headlong? Bam, wrecks my Beaver Warrior with 100 attack. I'm like, well, fuck. And he's going to summon another Warrior Earth. And I even asked him, I was like, do you run ties with yours too? He's like, no. But that's a damn good idea, especially that he only runs Earth Warrior. So I pick up that Ties of the Brethren. I am going to equip it on there. Lose 2,000 life points. Get down to 200. And summon my Beaver Warrior and Panther Warrior. I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. Give him 3,200. I end my turn because of this right here. I knew that he had a Super Rush head headlong, but not in his hand. So he basically won... So I just went ahead and just used Beast Rising. Bam. I didn't want him to beat my Beaver Warrior like that. He's going to pop that powerful rebirth. Coming back with Axe Raider. And bam. Wins with the Axe Raider. Now everyone that saw this replay instantly says. Oh Super Rush Headlong won the game. Not Axe Raider. Blah blah blah. Well the way I see it. Is Axe Raider won. Because he beat me with Axe Raider. Not with Super Rush Headlong. He did game with Axe Raider. But I'm gonna go ahead and play this one more time for the background and as I promote my shit. So if you've already seen it and don't want to watch it again, you can go ahead and end the video now. But if you want to hear some more shit, go ahead and keep watching. But um like if you like, subscribe if you like, comment down below what you would change about this deck or what you would add to make this deck more viable more tier zero than it is and comment also down below if you've ever seen a competitive axe raider or beaver warrior deck and also comment down below what you would change about this dude's axe raider deck to make it more viable even though that we've only seen it one one time and i'm the one that suggested the one and only duel no best of three this was going to declare which is stronger, Axe Raider or Beaver Warrior? Which everyone was saying Axe Raider because for some reason Axe Raider is like the savior in this game and so is Beaver Warrior. Blah blah this, blah blah that. And everyone always says Axe Raider and Beaver Warrior are both OP, tier zero, broken, along with the Land of Titans, you'll get King of Games easily. But I've never seen a competitive Axe Raider or Beaver Warrior deck until, uh, I did all this like two days ago, so this is like two days old. But yeah, and also I want you to smash that like button and turn on your notifications if you would like to see an Axe Raider deck because I am making one as of right now. I've only got two Axe Raiders, but I'm pretty sure I can make a competitive Axe Raider deck. Now, I've only got one Super Rush Headlong, which that would be a good tech for this deck too. It really would. Because it would stop, you know, me from Econ Tate. Well, it won't stop from Econ Tate. Like, this deck is really, really, like, vulnerable to Super Rush Headlong and Econ Tate. It really is. But, yeah. Enjoy um, me getting wrecked one more time by Axe Raider. And, I guess, peace. See you next time. Also, uh, tomorrow, I am going to be releasing my budget meta video for my budget meta tournament with fifth one so yeah keep an eye out for that one too and i'm also going to start streaming on twitch so peace